Konnichiwa. Today, we're going to talk about a thing that makes complex Japanese sentences possible and also supplies the key to 80 to 90 percent of what's going on in any complex Japanese sentence. So if we understand this, we can analyze sentences. If we don't, it's very, very difficult indeed. And this is what I call modification structure. So what does modification mean? Modification essentially means telling us something about something else. So a very simple kind of modification is that if we say boshi, which means hat, and then we say akai boshi, which means red hat, we've modified boshi with akai. Akai is telling us something more about the hat. It's telling us that it's a red hat. So adjectives, when they go before something, are a very simple kind of modifier. And that when they go before something is all important because there are only two laws of Japanese word order. The first is that the engine always comes at the end of the logical clause. The second is that anything that modifies anything comes before it. So why is modification structure so important in Japanese? Let's go right back to my first lesson. I told you the very first thing in Japanese to know is that every Japanese sentence, that's to say every logical clause, has two elements. These are the only ones that are necessary. They're the core of the sentence and you can't have a sentence without them. And there are only two ways of making a Japanese sentence more complicated than that simple A car and B engine. One is to string logical clauses together so you have a compound sentence with more than one A car and B engine in it connected with clause connecting elements like the te form or a but or a because or something. And the only way that you can make a logical clause in itself more complex, the only way, is to say something more about A, tell us more about A, or something more about B. In other words, to modify A or modify B. And this is why Japanese relies so heavily on modification structure. It's really the only way apart from compounding to make sentences more complex. So Japanese uses modification structure to do all sorts of things that are handled by other strategies in English and other languages. So what I want to do now is look at a few sentences and analyze how their modification structure works. So here's the first one. Kanojo ga itta koto ga uso deru koto to wakatta. And this means what she said turned out to be a lie, turned out to be a false thing. Now in English, you see, we don't use a modification structure for that. But in Japanese, it's done purely by modification. So let's break it down and see what's going on. First of all, the core of the sentence is koto ga wakatta. Thing became clear. But then we're told more about the thing and about the became clear. So, kanojo ga itta, which could be a logical clause in itself, she said, is modifying koto. And we know this because we're not ending the sentence with a full stop or anything. And we're not running into a clause connector. We're running bang into a pronoun, koto. And what happens when we run a sentence into a pronoun like koto is that we modify that koto so that we know what the koto is. And I call this putting the preceding sentence into a koto box. We can then handle the contents of that koto box as a simple noun. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're marking it with ga and making it the subject of the sentence. And then uso de aru modifies the second koto. De aru, as you may know, is a form of da or des. So uso de aru means is a lie. And if you want to know why de aru is being used here, I made a whole video on de aru. And I'll link that above my head, and that will make it clear why it's being used in this position. So, so the arrow modifies koto. And then, koto to 
modifies wakatta. So all of this is modifying the sentence engine, which is wakatta, became clear. So in Englishized Japanese, what we're saying is, she said thing, lai is thing, quote, became clear. Now, quote here, of course, the use of dot has no equivalent in English. It's not a quotation, it's a particle, but it's telling us that that idea, that concept, became clear. In other words, the thing she said turned out to be a lie, turned out to be a false thing. Let's take another example. Murabito tachi wa yukue fume ni natta neko o sagasu tome ni yama no naka e dekaketa. In English, that would mean the villagers went out into the hills to look for a missing cat. Now, the core of this is Murabito tachi wa zero ga dekaketa. The villagers went out, and everything else is telling us more about their going out. It's modifying the engine, the kakata. But the thing here is that we can have modifications within modifications. So, yukue fume ni natta modifies neko. That tells us more about the neko. It was a cat that went missing. And then that modified neko becomes part of another modification structure. Neko o sagasu modifies tame. Tame is a noun, meaning sake or purpose. And then neko o sagasu tame ni modifies dekaketa. The purpose of seeking the cat went out. This is all modifying the sentence engine dekaketa went out. But before we get to it, we have another modification for the sentence engine, and that is yama no naka e. And that also modifies dekaketa. So we can have two separate modifiers for the same element, one after the other. And that shouldn't be too surprising because we've done this from the very beginning. For example, omise ni pan o kai ni itta. I went to the shops to buy bread. Again, in Japanese, this is a modification structure and we have two separate modifiers. The core is zero ga itta, I went. The first modifier tells us where I went. The second modifier tells us why I went. So this neko sentence, the villagers went out into the mountains to look for a missing cat, is exactly the same structure, only a little more complex. Now let's take an example from Shirokuma Cafe, which I've talked about in another video. Koro koro suru no ni isogaishi kara ato ni suru yo this is where Panda's mother has talked about looking for a job, and what he's saying is, Goro Goro, which means literally lazing about or rolling about the way pandas do. And the reply is, because I'm busy with lazing around, put this off till later. So the core of this is, Zero ga isogashi. I am busy. Goro Goro suru, this is laze around do. And it's put into that no box again so we can treat it as a noun. So goro goro suru modifies no, we then add the particle ni, and goro goro suru no ni modifies isogashi. So I'm busy with the thing of lazing around. Lazing around is the target of my busyness. So now let's take a slightly more complex example. Kanojo wa hoko no onna no kotachi ni banji ga umaku itta to Aizushita. She made a signal to the other girls to tell them that everything went well. And as you see, this is not a modification structure in English, but in Japanese it's a modification structure. Yet again. So the core is zero ga aizushita. Kanojo wa zero ga aizushita. She gave a sign. So then, hoka no modifies onna no kotachi. Onna no kotachi. Our girls Hokano means the other girls. Hokano onna no kotachi ni modifies aizushita. Tells us to whom she made the sign. Banji ga umaku itta to also quotes the content of the sign, the meaning of the sign, which is everything went well, and that also modifies aizushita. So again, we have two modifiers for the engine which is Aizushita, and they tell us to whom she made the sign, and 
what the content or meaning of the sign was. And now we're going to look at one that I did in another video, which has caused some people a little questioning. So once again, let's look at this one and break it down in terms of its modification structure. Ichibade katte, kawa ni otoshichatta, okashi ga sakana san ni taberareta. And this means the candy that I bought at the market and done dropped in the river got eaten by a fish. Now the core of this sentence is okashi ga taberareta, the candy got eaten, or if you want to be very strict, okashi ga tareta, the candy got. Because strictly speaking, tabe is telling us more about tareta, it's telling what it got, it got eaten. Now the tricky bit about this sentence really is that we have in fact the remnants, as it were, of a compound sentence, two logical clauses, ichibade katte, which ends in a connector, and then kawa ni otoshichatta, I bought at the market, and dropped in the river. But all this runs directly into a noun, okashi. So we know that the whole thing, both partial logical clauses, are working to modify okashi. So all we have up to the point of okashi is one modified noun. And we know quite a lot about the candy. We know it's the one that she bought at the market and dropped in the river. We can then mark that noun with ga and say what happened to it. Sakana ni tabereta. And again, we could just say ga tabereta, but sakana ni is modifying tabereta. It's telling us by whom it got eaten. It got eaten by a fish. So these are fairly simple examples. If you have more complex examples or other examples that worry you, please put them in the comments below. And if they're interesting enough, I'll do another video on some more complex examples. If you have any other questions or comments, please put them in the comments below, and I will answer as usual. I'd like to thank my Gold Kokeshi patrons, my producer angels, who make these videos possible, and all my patrons and supporters on Patreon and everywhere. And all of you who like and comment on these videos, and of course you personally, for attending this lesson. Thank you for helping this project to go ahead, for helping us to find the keys to the complexity of Japanese, and to understand that once we know the structure, these apparently baffling complexities are easily penetrated. And once again, if you have ones that are still puzzling you, Give them to me in the comments below, we'll take a look at them, and if they're interesting enough, we'll make another video just looking at those. Kore kara mo, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Class dismissed.